you could share your philosophy around that work. Uh, this is the 60th anniversary of the Civil Rights uh, Act. And uh, this year, and so the politics is so in, in incredibly important and it's interwoven into how we farm. When we grow food, when the black community grows food, we essentially are trying to be able to create that sovereignty in our community, and we have to start with our young people. We have to galvanize as much as possible. We have to educate them on their, uh, just their history, in terms of the trauma that had us escape uh, to the urban communities where we're struggling to also grow food and we're being so creative. And so we must empower our community to build land sovereignty without food sovereignty. There is no food justice. You can't have food sovereignty without land sovereignty. So we're losing, we're losing those resources. In New York State, we're 66% more likely to be denied. Black farmers for FSA funding. The average is only 19%. Nationally, we're 35% more likely to be denied. The average is only 8%. We were denied funding in FSA twice. But we were vindicated when we showed them all the records in court and the information. And we reversed that through our appeal. We want to teach this to young people, but we want to teach this to everyone here. We want you to know our story, know our struggle, and know that we're gonna continuously lead our work, our farm, and within our community, but we require support, not just equality, we need equity. Equity in the land, equity in the food, and hear our voices. I appreciate you.